So SWOT stands for Surface Water and Ocean Topography. It's a new satellite to measure water levels over inland waters, global oceans and coastal oceans. And what it's going to do is measure all of the water on Earth for the first time in one survey every 21 days. This is really significant because there's no mission that's before measured the oceans and the water on land at the same time. All the instruments we've had to do this in the past have had large gaps in coverage. And with SWOT, we'll have an amazing way of mapping things like floods and droughts in ways that we've just not been able to do before. The real novelty of the SWOT mission is one, um, the SWOT, so how much of the uh, surface it can map, but also the precision to which it can map the, uh, the surface water. Over the ocean, it's going to give us some new information about how the ocean is moving at small scales and how that contributes to transport of climate important properties like heat or nutrients or indeed fresh water. We'll be able to use those data to improve climate models and improve our ability to predict climate into the future. The UK Space Agency has contributed to SWAT by enabling both our industry and our scientists to be part of the mission. We were approached by um, the French Space Agency, CNES, who are building the instrument for the mission. They needed a very complex bit of kit built in the UK which essentially signals or moves the, the radar pulses around the instrument and it was Honeywell in the UK that, that built this. So Honeywell's been involved with Calais and French Space Agency for a long period of time on altimetry missions and this was a step on from that where we were looking to take our technology and move that into a higher frequency, higher power in order to enable the satellite to perform. CNES and UK say have collaborated on the SWOT mission since 2013, nearly since the start of the mission. And the other contribution of UKSA in the mission was the participation of the scientists to the mission through the science team. UKSA, of course, is of prime importance to conduct uh, activities in science to prepare for SWOT and beyond. In the UK we're really fortunate to have some of the world leading scientists who understand both the, the oceanography, how the, how the ocean moves and how satellites can be used to measure that. I've been involved with SWAT since 2004 when I was part of the small group that sat around at a table with a blank sheet of paper and started to design what we wanted the mission to look like. We are working in partnership with the University of Bristol and Bangor University. NOC is involved through our project called SWAT UK, which is funded by the Natural Environment Research Council and the UK Space Agency, to look specifically at SWAT in uh, the Bristol Channel region and the Severn Estuary. So it's uh, an area of particular interest because of its vulnerability to coastal flooding. It's really exciting to be part of such a big, exciting mission. It takes a long, long time to come through to a launch in 2022. To be part of that journey on the policy side, enabling people to really do their, the best, so the best of British engineering and the best of British science, to be part of such a huge global water survey that's so important for climate change and is really going to make a difference to what we understand about our world. Thank you.